welcome back to part two of the motion builder facial rig sorry i've not been uh, online uh, to make these videos uh, but i've been busy with life and also uh, i've been working at ubisoft making watchdogs uh, i've worked most of the mini games on that including the chess animation system uh, that was fun to do um right so let me recap Right, so we've got the character. Uh, if you bear with me, guys, it's been a while. Uh, so we've got the character. We've got these. He's characterized. Yeah, and uh, right. So next, we're going to create the facial pose. I've actually imported in the. Uh, uh, animation facial rig system. Actually, bear with me a second while I rearrange the desktop, make it a bit easier. And right. Okay, hopefully that makes it a bit easier to see. So this is the facial pose plugged in and it's all working etc what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this off now so we're going to start again so if we ignore that and we go into the asset browser uh, character, character face drag one of these in right, so the first thing we want to do is go range all go to your head, select the head space bar, right click and select all uh, let's have a look at that right, ok, so we don't want the ears because we're not animating the ears or the teeth and we're going to keep the eyes everything else is bone related so now press the alt button and drag over to hold on a second go to cluster ship creation alt drag and drop cluster here so we're going to drop the cluster there and what that does is creates um, the cluster group so now the uh, those bones and the eyes are part of the character face system. Uh, you've got generic stuff here which we're going to not use. Uh, so next what we need to do is uh, add different um, different cluster shapes so um, actually uh, map shapes. Uh, if you bear with me a second I'm just going to do a little bit of cheating and I'm just going to copy some mouth okay mouse sync so we come here, we go add a new expression, call that mouse sync down. shape creations and we're going to add four new clusters and we'll just give them the same names okay and expand that out and go back to mapping so for move down uh, we uh, deactivate that and go left view. Actually, easier if I look for the jawbone. Nose, 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 nose. Cheek, mouth, mouth. Ah, oh, 
there we go, job one. Okay, so we've got the job one. Front view. And what we're going to do for down is we're going to animate the mouth down. So we're going to create the shapes now. And you just, oh, excuse me one second. Let's. Okay, just freezing off um, things that I'm not using. Right, and those up. So I'll just get the shape that you're after. Okay, for some reason the eyebrow. Um, object handles seem to have exploded so I am just going to hide those for the time being so I can access the, this easier so ok let's go for that for now ok so And what we're going to do is click snap on down. So now when we go to these other clusters, nothing happens. We go to down, it op opens downwards. And up is the opposite. So we go back here, click on So here we can close the mouth, get the shape that you want, so actually let's lock this for the time being, it keeps on jumping around and we will snap the mouth up, so now we've got mouth up and down and then on the left what we're going to do is we're going to use that for closing the mouth to make a tighter shape so let's pick the bones move them in so and move this in so Obviously, you take your time and make it neater than what I have here. Oops. Okay, so that's be your left. And then for right, we're just going to have my expanding outwards. So, we'll snap that. So now, once we've uh, put these onto the controller, if you push up, it'll do this. Push left, it'll do that. Push right on the controller, it'll expand the mouth out. And if you push up, it'll close the mouth. So that's your, uh, that's basically um, what this is. Okay, so, now that we've got that, we need to sync it to these parts here. So, say for instance, you've got mouth down. What you want to do is go to uh, shape mapping. So, mouth down, you put that to 100%. And then on the left, you put that left at 100%. And on the right, you put that 100 And obviously, up, you put that at 100 So now, what you've got, if you go into your character face control, is uh, oh, if we activate that now, what we'll find is if you oh, you can actually start making shapes with the mouth. Okay, obviously you don't want to animate like this, but 
we want to create the, that for each one of these um, controllers. So that was a sync controller, a mouse sync controller there. So these four items will be applied to the sync uh, controller here. Now obviously, I'm not going to recreate every single um, shape for each of these uh, controllers. So what I'll do is. Uh, I will add another, I'll just do the remote one, but I'm going to cheat a little. Uh, also, another good thing about doing this is you can actually just build up on it. So you can create the mouth and create the eye blinks and the eyebrows, and then you can build on top of that and create your sneers and your tongue and so on. So you can build this up slowly uh, later on uh, and add extra stuff on if you want to. Um, so show you how to cheat, add four, and add four expressions, and if we go to this one here, so we've got mouse remote down, so I'll do is I'll show you what I've got here, so I've got the brow up, brow down, the side eyes so you can actually uh, animate the actual uh, eye object uh, eye blinks mm, cheek squeeze the cheek squeeze are this is this one here so it's just left right and the middle's up <clears throat> just to give the this different sort of shapes I converge and obviously you got your emote down, up, left and right. And what else was there? Yep, so that's for the jaw, shifting the jaw left and right. Uh, mouth roll, so you roll your mouth down, uh, roll up, so you can pout your lips. That's good for like kissing scenes. And same with the bottom. So you can roll it in and roll it out. And we have cheeks. Blow your cheeks out, suck your cheeks in. And that's obviously your tongue controller, which is, well, there we go. I think the tongue was a little bit broken there. Let's uh, skip that. And then we've got the hair. So there we go. You can have nice bouncy hair. And that's only three points at <laughs> welded to that bone mm. which works fine for me so back to our little cheat here we were going to go for the mouth remote down so we grab that come to here right. so that's mouth down And up, and we'll st stack these over here. This just makes it easier if you keep both of them the same. Uh, so you can, whatever's here, you can basically find on the, the shape creation cluster. So for a little cheat, we are going. Well, I am going to select that come here, snap that to there, go back, move emote left, snap left, roll right, and snap on right, move emote up, Cheesy grin up, and there we go. So now we got the shapes there, and obviously, we need to go back to the mapping. So, for down, set that to 100, left 100, right 100, and up 100. 
Okay, so this, this concludes, the first part concludes of the uh, part two we'll of our video. Uh, hopefully, uh, you will uh, be able to set all this up um, for all the different controllers the, uh, that you have. System, uh, uh, it's a little bit um, tedious to do. Um, uh, rig but and, uh, the, you basically the, the this is uh, uh, system, uh, this actually helps because you can um, actually and save this out and, and you can actually reuse all of these um, these names so you only really need to write it out once so if you can use the same control uh, system for different characters so we can actually save out all these um, different character face definition and the mapping and the the, uh, well, basically the names, but maybe not the shapes on the character, because uh, you might have it set up differently for somebody else. So, that concludes part two of our video. Hope you enjoyed it, and part three we will start um, plugging in the actual, uh, this actual system into these controllers, which I think most people were waiting for. Um, once again, sorry for the long delay between videos, but I think you can understand. Um, and forgive me for taking so long. So, hopefully see you guys back for part three.